Good morning. My name is Laura. I'm the vice president of Feral Cat Rescue. Um, we work here in Southern Maryland and uh, mostly in St. Mary's County. And um, welcome to rescue. We mostly practice trap, neuter, return. Um, trap, neuter, return, maintain, TNRM, but usually we call it TNR. Um, this is my morning time with my kitty Bean. Wave. Hi, Bean. No. We uh, have a big day today. Um, lots to do. Look for the rescue. So we're going to pack up the truck and get out of here and get some stuff done. So the first thing we have to do today is release this buddy I trapped on Thursday. All right, bud. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Well, you know where you are. Turn around. I'm going to latch it. There he goes. Never mind. There he goes. Our next stop is here at Petco. We need to drop my foster cat off, Egret. Um, foster cat Egret off at the Petco adoption event. You can probably hear her. She's very vocal. Egret, say hello. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Egret is uh, about three years old and she's been my foster for a bit. She's a very sweet girl. She's just very loud. Not a lot of cats here yet. Okay, so I've dropped an egret off. Hopefully she has a great day in Petco. Um, maybe she'll get adopted. Who knows? Uh, so now we're on our way to go pick up some traps from um, a woman who I left some traps there, um, hoping to um, get the cats as quickly as possible. She she had a stroke and she's having trouble caring for the cats. So. Um, I have some barn homes. Um, anyway, I was trying to catch cats for the barn homes, but I need those traps back um, temporarily because I'm going to go set some traps today um, at a place um, where the neighbor is threatening to harm the cats. And there's only three there, so it should be a fairly quick, um, quick job, right? <laughs> a lot of people will call and have like. 13 cats or something and it'd be crazy but she only has three so hopefully we can catch them all today um she said one is really sick so we should get medical attention as soon as possible anyway so i'm gonna go grab the traps from uh from miss tina um, and then head over and set those traps for the the kitties that are in danger hi lunch break got the traps set um at that place and the neighbor seemed really nice. He chatted with me for a bit. Um, he said there's only three cats, so that's good. We can get those out of there super quickly, hopefully. If they'll go in a trap for me. So I heard that we got one of the cats. Let's see. Looks like this trap is empty. That's disappointing. There's that gray cat. That trap looks empty. But we did get a black cat, so let's see here. This guy. All right, let me go get a towel to cover him up. Okay, guys, so we got got the one cat that we trapped in the back. So two more to go. And we, um, I think you guys saw that one, uh, the tiger one that's in there. He's a tabby, so we'll have to get him next. And then she said there's also a deadly calico. So there's three cats. Got them, and then I went and picked up Egret. Uh, she's kind of quiet now on her way home. <laughs> uh, and I also picked up Bran and Gendry. They were two previous fosters of mine. Um, they were adopted last week and returned this week. Um, it just it just wasn't going to fit, and sometimes that happens, and that's okay. Uh, but now they're they're back, so um, they're with me here. I'm driving. Otherwise, I'd show them to you. They'll be on the website if you're interested in them, if there's any they want to get them. So, 
So headed home after a long day. We'll get this barrel um, set up in my bathroom and hold him for a bit until uh, we can get him a bed appointment so he can be fixed and vaccinated and then we'll find some nice barn home somewhere. So we'll get him all set up and then it's time for a nap. <laughs> <laughs>